Hello everybody, this is Frankie Day here for Frankie Day Models. Okay, fellas, uh, for this uh, late evening, which is midnight, I have for you a, a special video and a shout out. Uh, I just got off work about, uh, oh, I don't know, about 40 minutes ago. I had to work 12 hours a day. I got to work 12 hours tomorrow night and 12 hours uh, Sunday and get a little tired. And, uh, and I have, should have a video with Mars probably uh, Monday. I think Monday I'll have a video for you on, on the uh, on the Mars. I was supposed to have it about three days ago, guys, but what happens is I had a guy at work. Now, they, these young kids nowadays, they don't work, you know. Mom, dad gives them this all the time, and they don't understand that, you know, you get, earn your keep by the sweat of your brow, you know. They just everything is given to them, and they don't appreciate a damn thing, you know. But kid quit so old reliable Frankie over here had to fill his shoes in so that's okay I'll take his money just think of all the plastic I can buy good idea okay the topic of this video tonight guys it's gonna be a special video it's a shout out for Mr. Freddie Duarte now about three days ago I got off work and uh, post, the postman dropped uh, two boxes on top of my porch chair while I was sitting outside and uh, sitting on the porch out there and rocking my chair a little bit. And uh, he had uh, two boxes on there. And I can only guess where they came from. And I said, I didn't order anything. I'm quite certain I didn't order anything. Yeah, so right away, the big bold writing on there, it had Freddie's name on there and my name. And uh, so I took the contents out of the box. And I was very, very, very uh, surprised. I never had one of these before. Right over here, guys, behind me is the Black Pearl of Pirates of the Caribbean, Captain Jack Sparrow. This is his uh, Flying Dutchman that he used. Now, I'm not quite certain if the Ravel molds and the molds this kit are the same molds, only Rebox and, and Ravel, or I don't know. But this is a Russian kit. Uh, I don't, was it Zvelda? Yeah, Zvezda. It's, it's, it's from uh, either, you, I think it's from Russia. Yes, it is. Made in Russia. On a scale of 172nd scale. They make pretty good models. They really do. Eastern models make pretty good stuff. Very good. Now, I'd like to make a shout out for, for Freddie for sending this to me. It, 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 I never had one of these before. And thank you very much, Freddie, for, 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 for sending this to me, you know. I will make this thing work. And uh, thank you very much. Freddie get sent this to me, guys, and I'm, I'm very, very honored to Freddie. And Freddie sends me things once in a while, you know, and stuff. He, he, I guess he reviews his stash and things. He knows he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna get going on it or something like that. He has other, excuse me, he has other projects in mind, you know, and he'll never have a time again on something like this or, you know, a lot of guys you know. Even I done it before. I did actually recently about. Seven, eight months ago. You remember that Airfix Titanic leg bot? And I thought it was an Airfix mold kit. All it was is it was just, it was a, an Academy kit reboxed and Airfix. So stuff, stuff like that, I made a mistake buying, you know? And uh, if you don't spark my interest no more, I just send them away to, a, to my friends, wherever you make it work and make them happy. Because, uh, I had no interest in it, and then it's probably the same thing applies with this here. Uh, we'll go through the, uh, the kit contents and the instructions, but this is a real nice kit. I mean, I, I, I looked at it, and uh, it's very beautiful. It comes in uh, gray plastic. The sails are all plastic, too. I thought there was some uh, vacuum form cells, but they use the most kits like this. 
and uh, evidently, I guess they didn't do it in Russia. They used the uh, the plastic cells. We'll get to that, and we as we uh, go through the inbox of you, uh, it, you know. <laughs> Kind of think about it while I was going through the uh, the contents of the box. You know, it's all there, which it was. Everything's 100. percent Nothing, nothing missing. It's all there. Uh, they had plastic sails in there. It reminds me of my Aurora Wander Whaler ship. It has it has plastic sails too, but they're very detailed sails. And I think these sails are very detailed too. Very very perceptive the washes. So you gotta keep that in mind. Now. The paint schedule on this, I don't, I don't like it. it. It calls for all gray, decks gray, hulls gray, sails gray, mass gray. The only color, two colors that's outside gray is the gilded stern galleries, and also the uh, the blang, your blang with fife rails, your blang bitches, which are. Uh, like a burnt senia color. <clears throat> but I'm going to do this. I'm going to paint this almost like the Black Falcon. Like the one on the Aurora Jet. The pirate ship they have. I'm going to paint the waterline all tallow, which is white. I put a wash on it. Then I'm going to airbrush the hull with Texas yellow or so. And come back over with a stain. A stain over it. And do some painting on there. And add the and prime the uh, the uh, sails with white, and go back over with that uh, lacquer I, I I showed you before. Gives it gives that look. That'd be a really nice build. It's a pretty good sized kit. Okay, enough uh, jabbering. Right now, I'm going to go over here and take a look at the kit and see what you guys think. Now I know what I think because I went through it about two or three times and I'm very very well pleased. And again, Freddie, thank you very much. God love you, buddy. Freddie's a wonderful guy, everybody. He really is. And he's been very, very good to me. And uh, he's a fellow vet like I am. And uh, we see eye to eye and we think the same. And um, I'm very, very gracious and very grateful for what this man has given me, especially that B-17, the Memphis Bell. Because matter of fact, I'll have the final bill for that pretty soon, guys. I'm already applying the last, the last, uh, the last phase on it, that is medium green blotches. So what I did instead of freehanding the, the, the blotches on there with an air, with my airbrush, I just made a stencil to, with different patterns on there, which are which is very, very, very useful and for airplane that size. It makes it very, very easy to paint. And all you can do is lay your stencil over an airbrush like that, pull it off, and it's beautiful. And just keep on going until it's uh, to the desired locations of the blotches. So stay posted of that too. I got the Mipples bill coming up for you also. I've been farting around on that too to get that thing done. Like I promised Freddie, I'll get it done. Like I, it's it's almost done now. Just just to get the blotches and she's all finished. So uh, right now it's all taken apart. Took the wings off. It's in the box where it came out of. Which I like that very much because it's easy to ship to, to, to move around without breakage. I highly recommend that kind of a, uh, a display, you know, with all that big. Okay, I'm going to get with this um, Black Pearl here. We'll see if we can make some sets out of this. And uh, we're going to go through this kit. And uh, those of you out there who've got the Revell 170 second scale kit, please comment me on my uh, on the on the video here and let me know if the Revell molds is precisely to the molds on this here kit here, which I don't know. I, I've, I've never had one of these before. The only model I've, the only kit, the only model that I've built that's even close to this is one I did 20 videos on, which is, you know, it's the Isabella by Billings Boat, the, uh, the Spanish Galleon. So right now I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the Stuggy down. I'm gonna open up this box and go through the parts here. Alrighty. One thing I like about it, it's got a handle you can carry it. It reminds you of the Heller HMS Victory. It makes it very easy to carry. It's a good sized box. Okay. It's a lot easier to put this on the floor. Ooh.
be a lot more easier for me just to go down and grab it and bring it and put it on top of here. Okay, right here. Is an instruction booklet. It's a uh, bilingual. It's, uh, it's it's in Russian and also in English. I believe. No, it's bilingual. It's in all kinds of different languages, which is good. They, they're pretty much up to snuff like all all model manufacturers. Okay. There's a little brochure right here. It's not very. It's got a few pages. There's the steps. It's probably about complete this model there's 61 steps to, to complete this thing and the instructions here so we're going to go over here and take a look at here this right here is just excluded views of the parts it has the whole pieces and everything glued together the sails all the sails are all plastic. It's all plastic to here. Everything's plastic. You gotta cut this uh, Jolly Roger out. So, you, uh, care what you take it. So, what I'm gonna do is I'll go ahead and cut that out and stick that into a plastic uh, baggie or something. Keep it from getting paint on it. And keep it from getting uh, all chingered up. So, I'll do that one when it comes to time of building this model. No beers, continuation of the parts. Okay, in the beginning, step one, got the deck right here. It's got four pieces right there in step one. You got two boarding ladders, take you down to the deck, down to the gun decks. And also your well decks. And uh, step two is, is the forecastle, and also the, uh, the transom, the, the, the poop deck. Of course, you got the stand right here in step three, to construct that. Numbers. And uh, step four, you got uh, you got the four pieces for the lower hull. Then you got the deck assembly, which is over here. Step one and two that's completed. It fits on top of here. And of course, you got your carronades and uh, and also your your uh, carriage carts too. Carry the carron the carronades. And these uh, little, all these little uh, symbols here, like little black dots, they simulate the color. This thing, even the, everything is gray. The only thing that's not gray is the gun, is the cannons and the gilded uh, stern galleries, ship's wheel, gratings, five five rails. And that's about it. Step seven, all the way down to step 14. Down here it shows how the, the, the top, uh, top bulwark section of the hulls, how they match together and glued. Being all gray, it's a different color. I've never seen a, uh, I'm gonna, not gonna do that. I chose not to, right? Right at the beginning, I said, man, what kind of color schedule this thing's got? All all dark, all light, all dark gray. What the heck with that? This is gonna be a pirate ship. I'll paint it like the, like a roar's black falcon. I, that I've already decided on that. I've already got the uh, the, the, the paint schedule and devilized in my mind. And it has rigging details here too. Hey, wow! Didn't realize that before. This is a nice touch. Right here, fellas. This is a pretty good idea. I like this. We'll zoom in. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Right here. Man, I'll tell you. I don't know about these cameras out here. Looks like a bit step on here. Right here are your cannons. You got your tackle on here, or your cannons right here. Your recoil, your tackles on here. And also your fourfold block on your back of your cartridges. These are all plastic, all preformed already. And they just glue right in there. There's no rigging. It's a molded block. 
that goes all the way to your carriage, up to the bulwark, up there to the eye. It's all it's all it's all plastic preformed uh, tackle right there. Here's all the pieces right here. You can tell the exposed views of them. I like that. At that does save time and gives it a very very good touch. And also up here on the galleries up here. These probably clear pieces, but these are all gold in here. Like I said, guys, I'm not going to paint this thing all gray and gold. It's, it's going to have some nice colors to it. It's going to be a pirate ship. Uh, I've never seen pirate ships gray before. Only in Hollywood. Or maybe we were gray. I do not know. Being an old sailor, I used to go by rule of thumb. They all had probably had brown and black hulls. Tallow water lines. You got all your channels you can put on here. Here's all your channels. And you got your boat assemblies on here. This is a really nice kit, guys, to say the least. Even the jolly boat's got water kegs. It's got your tiller. It's got your oars. It's got your boat hook. It's got your gap. It's got your sail kit. You've got your stern cleats. Boy, it's definitely a pirate ship. No mistake about it. All these shutter bays. They got to be um, glued in alongside the hull. Like that of the Airfix HMS Victory. Okay. And certainly, guys, this video may be in two parts. I know dang well I think it'll be in 20 minutes. I'm probably at the 20 minute mark right now. Don't rightly know. Okay. Got your lights up over here. Your lanterns. I don't know if these are clear or they're all gray plastic. We'll find out once we go through the kit. And down below, your shrouds go on there, all your combos are on there. They're very detailed, guys. They really are. You've got rope on there. It looks real nice with some washers or stains. And over here at step. Uh, 43, 44. You got your anchors. You got your stock anchors right here. It's probably two, yeah, two times it says. And right over here, you got your your dead eyes up for your four stays. Right over here, you, you now you see the rigging. You got to use your thread. These dead eyes right here, they go up to your four stays up to your bowsprit. They too are uh, pre uh, prefab, preformed styrene plastic. Almost like that of the Vel Cutty Sarge. It is all your mass assemblies and everything. This is a real nice kit, guys. It, tr it truly is. If you got more rigging here, you got to do. So it tells you step by step how the rigging and everything. It's uh, pretty nice. There's all your sails, your Jolly Roger. And once it's completed, you need a paint schedule. This thing's all gray. All gray. It's very nice. Okay, now we're gonna get right now we're gonna get to the um, the parts.